What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Ari. Welcome back to Him on the Vibes. Thank you for tuning to another banger. Yes, sir, that's right. We live directly in the fact. You might be screaming, Ari, oh, why are you screaming chocolate? This is, we, we gotta do the bikini bottom. Wait, what? The binging with the, the what? The binging with bashes. Oh, that's what I'm Binging with bashes Sunday from SpongeBob. Y'all remember the episode of SpongeBob when, when, when SpongeBob was making that nasty Sunday with peanuts and, and all type of nasty stuff? He's like, Sunday! Well, his mother was thinking, we gonna have, oh, we gonna watch them create a real life, I mean, steak mode Sunday, I mean, ice cream Sunday. If you're new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe. Turn on post notifications so every time I upload, you will be the first one to know. Let's get into the video. Our peanuts jar is totally empty. Hmm. Get Wait, it. I know one other place we can find peanuts. Nasty. I think I still have these peanut plants growing in the windowsill. In the bathroom. A little texture never hurt. <laughs> there we go. I don't know, somehow I doubt that. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish. For this week, we're taking a look at Spongebob's onion, ketchup, and peanut. Oh, stop. Sorry, guys. Plant Sunday, and yes, this is an actual peanut plant that I bought on Etsy. It's too young to have yet yielded any nuts, but I think ultimately that's not going to matter. So, these nuts? For the TV show Accurate Version, we are weeping as we thinly slice a large Vidalia onion, filling all of our ice cream surrogate, aka a whole bottle of ketchup, scattering our Vidalia onions. Uh, for, for our Tennessee red organic heirloom peanut plant. Roots, dirt, and all, as SpongeBob said. Uh, except that eating dirt is a very effective way to give yourself a parasite. I had to Google that, and I came across a lot of articles on the subject, because apparently there's a lot of people out there that like to eat dirt. I, however, am not one of them, so I'm going to carefully scoop around the dirt, grab some peanut greens, which are apparently perfectly edible, He's and not gonna get a fried bite of SpongeBob's improvised Sunday, which I hopefully shouldn't have to tell you is not very good. It's Cat. ketchup, onions, and leaves. It's like eating a burger without the bun or the burger. And yes, it did get a So making an edible version of this is going to take some doing. I'm thinking the only way to do it is to make ice creams flavored after the different parts of the Sunday. First up, the onions. I have two large Vidalia onions that I've halved and thinly sliced, which I'm now going to caramelize. I'm going to start by gently sautéing them over medium-low heat, adding a little kosher salt, freshly ground pepper, and then what I want covered, stirring ice, the onion for ice about cream? 15 minutes. We just want the onions to soften up, as well as give up a bit of their moisture, but we don't want anything turning brown just yet. Once about 15 minutes have passed and the onions are nice and soft, we're going to remove the cover, increase the heat to medium, and cook, stirring frequently for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Add a splash of water and scrape the bottom of the pan as many times as you like until you have some deeply golden brown jammy onions. This stuff is completely delicious and very naturally sweet, so I'm very curious to see what kind of ice cream it's going to make. The next thing I'm curious about, tomato-based ice cream, which is going to be our stand-in for ketchup. I'm going to start by making a tomato jam. I'm cutting little crosses in the bottom I thought the of the peanut one would taste like fresh good. ripe tomatoes, which we're then going to blanch and peel. In other words, we're dropping the tomatoes one or two at a time into a pot of boiling water for about one minute or until you start to see the skin split along the sides. We're then fishing them out and dumping them directly into an ice water bath. This is called shocking the tomatoes and it's going to both halt the cooking process and make the tomatoes easier to peel, which once everybody's blanched and shocked, we're going to start doing. We're going to gently peel the skins off each tomato, then cut the tomatoes into quarters, cut out their cores, and then cut each quarter into one inch pieces. Once your tomatoes are broken down, it's time to scoop them directly into your lap. This is going to make for an efficient, I'm just kidding, there's a saucepan down there. Into a medium saucepan goes our tomatoes, along with about 450 grams of granulated sugar and the juice of half a lemon. We're then going to bring this to a simmer over medium heat, reduce the heat to medium low, and continue to simmer for about an hour, stirring frequently and occasionally skimming off the orange foam that appears on top. By the end, the mixture should have reduced by about half. Now, to represent the peanut plant, I want something earthy, something grassy, and something peanutty, so I'm going to make a beetroot, matcha, and peanut ice cream. Now, for all of our ice cream flavors, we're going to need a basic custard, same as the one we made for mochi ice cream last 
week. Four cups of heavy cream, two cups of milk, one cup of sugar, and a pinch of kosher salt brought to a bare simmer over medium heat. Then we're putting this mixture over to eight separated egg yolks that we have set in a large heat proof bowl. Then we're going to very, very slowly ladle the mixture with me with eggs while whisking constantly. This is going to temper the eggs, which is going to prevent them from scrambling in our ice cream. And this ice cream is going to be weird enough without scrambled eggs in it. Once we've added about a third of the heavy cream and milk mixture, we're adding everything back to the pot cream. and whisking constantly over medium heat until it reaches 175 degrees Fahrenheit and becomes thick enough to coat the back of the spoon. Now into some various containers, I have our different flavorings. Tomato what? jam on the far left, followed by a caramelized onion. Next, some beetroot puree, and last, some creamy peanut butter, about a half a cup of each. We are then tiny whisking each of these until they are completely homogenous. And wow. if you're wondering what a matcha ice cream is, I have some leftover from last week that I'll be repurposing. Because, fun fact, you can melt and rechurn ice cream. Well, maybe that's just a fact. I don't know about a fun fact. Either way, every custard is getting covered and fridged overnight before being churned via your method of choice. There's our beetroot ice cream, some matcha ice cream, some peanut butter ice cream for a peanut flavor, caramelized onion ice cream, and tomato jam ice cream, each of which should be churned until it has the texture of soft serve, at which point we're going to scrape it back into a clean container, smooth wow. it out, and let it camp out in the freezer again overnight. That and good. Half an hour before serving, we're going to transfer everybody over to the fridge so they can soften up a little bit for easy scooping. So here we go, one heaping scoop each of caramelized onion, tomato jam, and then to stand in for the peanut plant. You'll see that I did a kind of Neapolitan of beetroot, matcha, and peanut butter. Is it the prettiest thing in the world? No, but neither am I, and I'm okay with me. But is that all about to change as I dig into this insane mishmash of savory sweet ice creams? Let's find out. The caramelized onion was interesting, the tomato jam was interesting, and the beetroot matcha peanut butter was interesting. That's about the only thing I can say. They are inoffensive, but I wouldn't go so far as to call them good. I think what this thing needs is a little bit of the old-fashioned sundae treatment. Whipped cream, chocolate sauce, and a cherry. Now that is a sundae. They Let's made it look so way. good. Ugh, that is when I learned that chocolate and onions don't mix. Ah, pretty good. I ain't gonna lie to you. It looked good. It looked good. I ain't gonna cap with you. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Spongebob uh, Sunday. I ain't gonna lie to you. Spongebob was, SpongeBob was lit. Question, does Spongebob actually still come on? I see, I see Sandy get children. Sandy, what are you doing now they having children? You're supposed to be for family. I know, but that's the last time I watched that. That was years ago. Years ago. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Comment down below what video you want me to do next. Alright. And just remember, be happy, smile, and remember and the world is yours. We out. Peace.